What's going on guys? Eric here with Get Me Out of Your Vlog. Today, we're doing a little bit of a hunt here in Lyle, Illinois at the Morton Arboretum. Thomas Dambo, a famous artist, has created something special here. We're here to check it out. I'll tell you in a second. We're on the hunt for trolls today here at the Morton Arboretum. I think there's six or seven of these and they're spread out throughout this really large arboretum. I'm not sure how many miles, square miles, footage, whatever this place is, but it's huge. And so we're gonna be spending the next couple hours exploring, taking in the scenes, looking for trolls. And I'm with an expert here, my mom, who's an expert at trolls. She actually wrote a book called Trolls. You can find that on Amazon. I'll actually put the link down below for anybody that's interesting, interested, but Chris Erickson Rowley, Trolls. Nonfiction. Written for kids so they know what to be afraid of and how to get around trolls. So they know how to fight trolls and stay away if they see some. How to be alive. How to be alive. That's a good one. So how to stay alive, stay away from trolls. We've actually got a, a rich Norwegian history. I want to say what? Four generations back. Late 1800s. Our ancestors actually on my mom's side. 1860. 1860. She's correcting me here. Came to the United States, primarily Minnesota. And we've been here ever since. So this is kind of special today. You're an expert troll hunter, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm in good hands. Yes. Well, we found our first troll today, this rock crushing giant. It's a good thing I didn't park here. That thing's massive. I completely crunched this yellow car. Pretty awesome, all the detail that goes into these. This thing's gotta be at least 18 feet tall. The troll here has a name, Rocky Bardour, by Thomas Dambo. A focus. You know, I never did like yellow cars. As far as I know, these have been here for about a year. <coughs> he's had some other trolls he's designed and constructed across the world. One notably in Colorado recently, the city actually voted to this take it out. Is this your car? It used to be. <laughs> Along with trolls, they've got plenty of Lego figures here throughout the park. Pretty cool to take in. Pristine Lego nature. I think we're getting close. Ooh, there's one. Sneaking up on it. He doesn't even know we're coming. Okay. You can see this guy's head sticking out. Oh, okay. That's cool. But, uh, so it's Troll Dambo, Troll number two. Or Troll Dambo. Tom Dambo. That's his name, not Troll Dambo. Troll number two today. He's got some big feet. Those are like size 20. Shaq ain't got nothing on him. We set the trap. Oh, there he is. Yeah, don't go in there, Dad. There's a pack of Coors Light in there. Just go for it. I don't know, it's probably, uh, could be gasoline. It's like Mad Max. Pack of Coors Light, just, just keep going. Don't go in there. <laughs> I think they have Cubs tickets in here, huh? Yeah. Gasoline. Is that what that's supposed to be? I think so. I guess we're in a gas shortage. Oh no, we're trapped. <laughs> we're trapped in here. It's amazing. It's I don't know how we're going to get out of this. That I, troll could be hungry. This would not be a good idea. Well, this thanks. Hey, thought. you failed at being a troll hunter today. Hey, we're stuck. I'm, not, I'm out here. <laughs> yeah, in there. she's out there. We're in here. This troll is called Sneaky Socks Alexa. Definitely sneaky. 
We're lucky to get out of that alive. I think you, you saved us. I did. I Alexa, know. who is Sneaky Socks? <laughs> what is this squirrel doing? He's eating a sandal. What you doing, man? What happened to the hiker? Yeah, what happened to the hiker? Vicious squirrels. It's like Mike, Monty Python. Man, forget about the trolls, the squirrels here. They're, they're eating people. It's terrifying. If the trolls don't get you, the squirrels will. Man, what do they feed them here? Maybe they don't feed them. That's why they're so hungry. Ooh, the trail's blocked. Looks like a troll knocked this tree branch down. It's blocking the way. So I guess we're gonna have to gonna have to tread into the wilderness. These trolls mean business. There's a few that are supposed to be over here, hiding somewhere. And they knocked down this massive tree. Look at this. Wow. We're getting warm. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. We had a few storms a couple days ago. Well, this was no storm. This was no storm though. This was a troll. Look at the size of that thing. Look at that. Just knocked the whole tree down. This was no storm. This was a troll. Knocking trees down, trying to prevent us from going further. All right, I'm a little hesitant here to cross the bridge. There's no trolls hiding underneath the bridge, is there? I've read Billy Goat's Gruff. Any trolls down there? <laughs> You're like, they're being pretty quiet. I don't know. Maybe we're lucky. All right, let's get across before something comes out. Yeah, before it gets us. Please hug, but do not climb. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hug a troll. Do not trust that sign. Ooh, that's muddy. Ooh. Furry Emma, the owl calls outside our halls. What does that mean? These are the clues for the lair. Ah, okay. Did you guys see the lair? We did see the lair. I can't give that away. We've got furry Emma over here. So this is troll number three today of the Thomas Dambo collection. This one's setting a trap as well. It's not, not really tricking anybody today though. Pretty amazing the details on these trolls. I mean, they even have even have toenails on these trolls. Ugh, looks a little mildewy. Hasn't bathed in a while, even. It looks like it's got bird poop it's using for uh, toenail polish. It's like a true troll. Just taking in the views right here, the crab apple collection here at the Arboretum. It was supposed to rain today, but it didn't happen. It's beautiful out, sunny. Temperature in the 70s. There's a crane over there. Just chilling, hanging out. And our mission, our fourth troll, way up on the hilltop. Probably the most famous one. Joe the Conqueror overlooks the highway as you're driving in. We're gonna go get some epic shots here in a little bit. Speaking of rain earlier today, somebody lost an umbrella. It's just sitting here on the path. Jim Gaffigan, stand-up comedian, has a good, a good saying about umbrellas. Caution, trolls ahead. Way up there. Can you see it? Way up there, top of the hill. Getting a little closer here. Almost to the top of the hill. Probably my favorite troll here out of the six or seven of them. You get some good views. Definitely a good photo op. Definitely plan to walk a lot. If you're doing this, at least two to three miles. If you want to see all the trolls, you definitely get your exercise, get your steps in. But it's definitely worth it. Good views. It's beautiful out. Fresh air. 
good to take it in. Finally made it to the top of the hill. Joe the Guardian beside the brook, our cozy nook. And these are actually clues to the troll lair. After you see all the trolls here, they actually have a lair that the trolls supposedly reside in that you can find and check out as well. And here's Joe the Conqueror. Check this guy out. He's, fan he's definitely standing tall, 20 feet high, possibly overlooking the interstate. Right up there, Joe the Conqueror. I think the most epic of the trolls here at the Arboretum. He's sweating like crazy, it's hot out. But check this out, he's got a nice view of the interstate, the surrounding Lyle area. Beautiful day out for hunting trolls. You can see he's gazing out to the Chicago skyline. It is in that direction. I can't see it from my level, but maybe from his eye level, maybe he can see it. Also, check out this view from the other side of the Arboretum. It's absolutely beautiful, standing at the top of the hill. Could resist another cool Lego sculpture here of a peacock. So just to give you guys a summary, we are four trolls down and I think we have two more trolls to go located on the other side of the Arboretum and a troll lair, which is kind of the cherry on top is what I hear. I don't know if it's worth walking to the other side. It's a huge Arboretum. Sometimes it's better to drive, but I think today it's nice out. We're going to just make the trek and walk over there and hunt the rest of these trolls. We got two left, two left in a lair and I got... The expert troll hunter is still with me. We've got her troll manual. Hopefully we're in good hands. Ooh, here's a hummingbird made out of Legos. 265 build hours, that's a long time. What is that divided by 24? That's gotta be, is that like a week to build this? Not sure how they calculate that. So pretty cool though. I like this hedge maze here too. I am a huge fan of labyrinths and hedge mazes. If I had my own house, I would totally, I would totally build some hedge, hedge mazes. I can't even talk. Hedge mazes. Hedge mazes. <laughs> I would totally build some hedge mazes. These are awesome. If I had my own house, I would totally build some hedge mazes in it. They're so cool, I can't resist. This thing's cool too. Hedge mazes, labyrinths, I love them. This one's kind of cool too. It's a, apparently it's a germinating acorn. I don't even know what that means. Let's read the sign. Acorns and oak trees are a key part of the Arboretum's past and present today. Arboretum scientists are working to make sure that no species of oak anywhere in the world goes extinct. Look for oak trees on your visit. That didn't really tell me what, what that means. So I have no idea what germinating means. Is that just a acorn is sprouting into a tree, maybe? That's my best guess. Germinating, is that? That's my best guess. I think that means what? The acorn is sprouting into a tree? Is that what that means? Leave a comment below. I'm guessing that's what it means. I've just never heard that term before. They have a really cool gift shop in there too, in the main Arboretum entryway slash visitor center. You can get some souvenirs, some magnets, some postcards, some coffee mugs. Kind of nice to browse. 
We've got a really nice visitor center here too at the Arboretum. Get here, you can get some refreshments before you go hiking or when you get done. Restroom facilities, they even have a cafe. Grab some lunch. <coughs> I picked up some boxed water at the Arboretum store. I've never, I've seen it before, I've never had it. So I'm gonna have boxed water for the first time. It says it's better. I'll be the judge of that. I can't do this in one hand though. I'll have to cut this off. All right, Bon Appetit, boxed water. Tastes like water. Tastes just like plastic water, but it's good. I recommend if you see it, be hipster about it. Get yourself a box of fresh water and say hello. All right, I think we found troll number five, Niels Bragger. The clue among the Dells, our troll tribe dwells. Dells are in Wisconsin. That's a long ways away from here. So this guy is creeping around a tree. He's got a big club in his hand. Thirsty for blood. All right, troll number five. I need to be in position. Okay, get in position. Do not stare in his eyes. Here's another view. I'm kind of sneaking around. He's distracted by all these people taking photos, but pretty amazing all the detail that goes into this. It sounds hollow on the inside, though. You think he is? Go around the back side. A little bit of a mullet there. Good thing he's distracted. He's not he's not noticing us back there. He's getting ready to club one of these one of these families taking photographs. <laughs> so I gotta ask, so mom, you're a professional on trolls. What kind of trolls are these? These are forest trolls? These are forest trolls. Gog troll. Most likely forest trolls. Yep. Okay. All yep. of them are? I think so. And what, they're all in forest. So how can you tell? Because they're in forests? They're in forests and they have branches for hair. They're shaggy. It's all wood. They're covered with wood and probably moss and lichen. Them enough and they all have hair. one head. They're not three headed. Yep, they all have one head. They should, some of them should have like an eye hole for an eye where there's only one eye to share. But they don't. These all have two eyes. That's okay. Because sometimes the, what, the forest trolls all have one eye that they share around with yeah, each the other. Yeah, the eyes, and the, they have an eye hole in the middle of their heads, and then they share. They like wander through the forest to eat people, find people to eat, and then they, the lead one has an eye in the middle of his head, and then if he gets tired, then he takes it out and gives it to the next one that has his hand on him. Mm. So like maybe three or four in a row. And they just trade off the eye and leave different times, and then they look for people to eat. Because the heroes in the stories always stole the one eye, right? They did one story at least. They one story it. at they least. Got, they got lucky. They got the eye. <laughs> so these these are probably forest trolls. They've got two eyes, though. That's okay. They sometimes do. Pretty cool. The more you know, guys. But they're shaggy. So we got one more left to see. Yep. From deep within the serene prairie, there at the end. Dun, 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 dun. Troll number six. Lay in the grass. Let's get a closer view. We'll try to be quiet so we don't we don't wake him up. At long last, troll number six. He's laying out with his mouth open. He's just he's so lazy. He just thinks if we can just crawl right in, he can eat us. This thing's massive. Can't tell if he's sleeping or if he, his eyes are open. And that's got to be like what, 50 feet long? I'm going in. You're going in for I'm a photo op? Yep. Here. Just don't get, don't wake him up. He might eat you. He's dead. He's dead. Wait a minute. Wait, you, you just killed him? We didn't even see that. He got caught in sunlight. He's wrong. Smile. There you have it, guys. The ultimate troll hunter, Chris Rowley. Sunlight's good. Do you want to kill a troll? Sunlight, what, turns okay. them to stone or to, to wood stone. in this case? Stone. I think he's wood though, isn't he? He was wood, now he's stone. <laughs> Troll killer. 
We got a troll killer here. Does, uh, it looks like he brushes his teeth, maybe. Bad breath? <laughs> yeah, bad breath. <laughs> All right, let's, let's climb up yeah, the troll here. Oh, it's kind of wet down there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's been gargling. Gargling blood, human blood for a while. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm inside the troll's mouth. You can get a good view up his nose there. You know, it's not minty fresh. Whew. You got to brush more, buddy. Here you have it, guys. The Trolls of Tom Danbo here at the Morton Arboretum. If you could survive right now, I've got, I'm in the grasp of one. I hope I can get out of here. I'm going to help. But I've got a, a troll hunter guiding me through here. So I think, I think we can get out of here alive. But we've still got one more layer to view. If I can crawl out of here. Stay tuned. Oh, getting eaten by it. Troll! Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm all right. It's not real. We gotta go see the lair. Whew. The, the, the mouth on that guy. All right, time to see the lair. All right, guys, let's go under the leg here on the way to the lair. We can sneak past him. <coughs> Gazoon tight. I think we just go up this way, actually. All right, onward to the troll lair. Nice day out. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's really nice out. All right, moving along. These pine trees are really cool. So I got a hunch we're getting closer to the troll lair. Back here deep in the forest. I think I'm hearing some noise. Ooh, and there it is. The lair of the trolls. The the famous troll lair here at Morton Arboretum. Looks like all the trolls are out and about. I think uh, I think it might be safe to go and check it out, maybe. This is the official sign, Troll Hideout. I'm glad they labeled that for us. Look at the size of that teepee. Stick fort. This is really cool. They even have a cauldron over there. They've got some games that I guess you could play. Not sure how these work. Just throw some rocks around. Beats a cell phone. Oh no, Dad, they got you. They got you. Oh no, mom's in the cauldron. Yep. Jeez, I didn't yeah, even I'm see that you. coming. How'd you end up in there? I can do runes so I can take care of the cauldron. That's all good. I can <laughs> make it stop boiling. Well, there's no fire on it yet. That's good. That's, how, that's uh, the way you do it. Smile. Get rid of the fire. Ready? Go. Good. Yes. Yeah. You <laughs> win. They even have toothbrushes here. I think, or... That's a spoon, or maybe that's that's something to pick the bones out of their teeth. I don't think they cared about their teeth. Yeah, probably not. That's just like what to to. Uh, it might be their comb. Might be uh -huh. to eat people with, just stab their corpses and eat it. It could be. They might try to comb their hair, although it's hard to believe that. <laughs> hard to believe it. Spoons. Looks like we can go inside this. All right, we're sneaking in the lair. Sneaking in the troll lair. Yeah. Ooh, shredded human meat. Yep. It's always good. It's kind of weird. They have like some weird ritual thing going on here. They do. That's pretty creepy. Divining rods. Some satanic ritual stuff yep. going on. I don't know what kind of arboretum this That's is. What it looks like. Ooh, this is crazy. Look how big this is. Yeah. I could actually camp out in this overnight. This is pretty cool. I wouldn't, you know. 
I think they're out and about. I think we're all right for a while. They've even got like some benches to hang out on in here. Yeah, they really went all out with this. Must be the front door, so I'll sneak out this back way again. Yeah, it's cool. I like the brush. You like the brush? The hairbrush. Yeah. You like the brush? Maybe it's a toothbrush. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know why they brush their teeth, but. Well, that one troll needed to go dead. I'm gonna get in the cauldron. There's no water in here either, that's good. I'm trying to imagine being cooked alive with a bunch of trolls hanging out here. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. They have all these like witchcraft looking symbols hanging everywhere. It's almost like Blair Witch. Yeah. I didn't even see the drum. Where's that at? Oh, cool. Oh, good job. See, I think you're calling the trolls here now, right? They're all going to come? Not a smart thing to do, but I'll try. I think they turned them off the stone. That was aggressive. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, so we're probably good till the sun goes down. Yeah. That's a good thing. So there you have it, guys, the troll lair here at the Morton Grove Arboretum. This originally was going to be a temporary exhibit. They started this last year, but they left the trolls out over the winter time. They survived the winter. They're looking great. So I believe this could very well become a permanent exhibit establishment here at the Arboretum. I hope it is because it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend coming here. Definitely it's a lot of hiking. It'll take maybe a couple hours to go see them all, but it's totally worth it. I recommend, and mom, if you want to just talk about your book one more time on Amazon. Sure. She, uh, and you give troll speeches too yep. across the United States. So hobby, she is a I've enjoyed it all my life. professional troll yep. person. person. Thank you. Thinker. Right. Anyway, this book came out in 2018, and it's geared to, it's a nonfiction book geared to kids ages like grade second through fourth grade, but I think anybody can get something out of it because it's, this talks a lot about the different kinds of trolls in Norway and the stories that went behind the myths and why. So a fun, fun read and educational. It also tells you how to beware of trolls and what to do if you find one. There you have it, guys. I will put the link below for the book. It's on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed the video, and there'll be more to come. Thanks. The irony about this is you've got a Buckeye parking lot. Right here, you got a Michigan Wolverine fan parked in a Buckeye parking lot. Boy, if only he knew.